a really fun contraption to make because it adds a lot of different levels and sounds as the ball falls. So it's a great contraption to either make on its own or attach it to an even longer ball run. You'll need about 87 planks to build this. Go ahead and grab those in an open space and let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start out by making the base first. So we're gonna just grab some planks. And fill two squares next to each other. And you don't have to build this base. This is just so um, we're gonna build a little collection where the balls fall. So that's just to make this a little bit higher. You can just build it flat on the ground or on the table if you're add adding it to another contraption. Otherwise, um, you can just build it like this for its own, uh, on its own. So we're gonna add 11 planks across. Okay, and now we're going to take two planks and stack them and put them on one side of the foundation. And then we're going to add a small spiral and um, I'm, I would start with your plank diagonal, probably one, two, three, four, five. The corner of it should touch the fifth plank in and we're going to stack nine planks and just slightly rotating them each time. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you don't have to rotate them too much because all you need to make sure is that this plank is parallel to this one because we'll be building on top of this spiral. Now we're going to take three planks for our first little descending step and set that right on top of those. And then on top of this track or this ramp, I'm going to stack our sides with two planks. And the reason you wanna stack it right on top of the track is to make sure that the ball will fit through. If you stuck it right on the side, there's a chance that it might get stuck on um, when it's falling. So now we're going to lay one plank on like this so we can take our next track and begin building this direction. And we'll go ahead and add the sides on this one. And once we've done that, I'm going to add one block here for stability. And we're going to go ahead and angle these planks upright and create a place so we can lay our next cascading. So you'll start to notice the pattern as you're building up that you're creating a little bit of an angle so your ball will fall and bounce onto each track. So now we'll go ahead and add the sides to that one. All right, I lifted the camera up just a little bit so you can make sure you're seeing everything. So now that we've built this side, we're going to, um, let's go ahead and add one here. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side and making sure we angle these planks so there's some more stability lay a plank there, do our three plank ramp, and you can keep going with this pattern maybe as, I, as high as you can. Um, I'm just going to build one more ramp on top of this one, so we're going to add it onto this side. And add a plank there so we can rest our ramp here. Now, once you've gotten 
this much, if you're taking your ball and testing it out, sometimes the ball might fall off the side. To prevent that, we're going to add a plank right here, and this might take a little bit of adjusting if the ball doesn't bounce right in, um, but this is just a bounce plate that the, that the ball can hit, so it actually falls into the track, and that worked pretty well. So the ball might get stuck a little bit and you'll just have to play around with your structure to make sure it's um, moving smoothly. So if you're building just this structure on its own and you wanna collect your ball, all you need to do is take some planks and add them to the side. And we'll try it one more time. And it fell in. So I'd say that one is pretty good and um, yeah, that's all you need for, for this cascade. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can subscribe to our channel for more instructional videos on how to build ball runs or other Kiva structures. And if you have something that you want to build or see built, um, leave something in the comments and we can hopefully make another video like that in the future. And um, if you do build something, we'd love to see what you create. So you can follow us on our social media and use the hashtag Kiva Planks. We can't wait to see what you create.